Running backs. A plus. Seriously. I thought the Niners running backs were the two best running backs in the league. They had, I thought the Niners had the, the best one-two punch in the league. Which was funny because going into the season, you were thinking it was Raheem Mostert, Jeff Wilson Jr. Jeff Wilson Jr. tears his meniscus or something in minicamp. He's out. Jeff Wilson, uh, Raheem Mostert injures his knee on the second carry of the season. You're thinking this team is screwed. This team is screwed. Their running game is screwed. And then, boom, Elijah Mitchell immediately established himself as a bell cow running back. 11 games, 963 yards, five touchdowns, 4.7 yards per carry as a rookie. He was one of the best rookie running backs in the league, if not the best rookie running back in the league this year. Six-round pick. Going to be the Niners starting running back for a while. But he wasn't their best running back. Debo really ran 80 times from week 10 on. He had eight touchdowns in the regular – he had eight rushing touchdowns in the regular season. We have won the playoffs, averaged 6.2 yards per carry, 6.2 yards per carry. His run on third and seven in Green Bay sealed the game. I don't know that there's any other running back that you would feel confident handing off to in that situation. Third and seven, if you don't get it, you probably got a punt and you might lose. Third and seven, you feel more confident handing off to Debo than throwing to him. Why? Because of the quarterback. He That's like a high school call. We don't trust our quarterback to do the simplest thing, so we're going to hand off to our best player on third and seven and pray. And he got nine yards. Also, his touchdown run in Dallas, right after Dak Prescott's interception, Debo goes on the field and, and goes to Kyle and says, I don't know what he says, but I, said, I think he said, I got you. Basically like, dude, don't overthink this. Give me the ball. And then he scores a touchdown to basically put the game out of reach. Legendary, legendary things that Debo did this year as a running back. In the future, I don't think he's going to have to play running back. The reason they put him at running back is because they don't trust Jimmy Garoppolo to throw the ball more than 25 times a game. And you can't limit Debo's touches because Jimmy's limited. So you have to play him at running back. And toward the end of the playoffs, he was getting 10 carries again. I don't think he'll have to do that. With Trey Lance, Lance will run. You'll give it, To me, with Lance as quarterback, Samuel can go back to getting 10 targets a game and maybe two carries. Two carries in critical moments, but not eight, nine, 10 carries a game. That's what he had to do because of Jimmy Garoppolo, and he damn near brought the Niners all the way to the Super Bowl. Probably could have if his coach had committed to him. A plus for the running backs. Official BNA Music 88 says, I, I wish I knew McDaniels was w- uh, biracial prior to him being hired in Miami. Now, when I look at him, all I see is the rapper. Logic. Congrats, Coach Logic. Yeah, I had no idea. I, I still don't know like what his racial breakdown is. I'd love to know. Barkley to Niners for fourth. Giants may trade him. Eh, eh. The thing about running backs is they're a dime a dozen and you can always find them. Sure, that seems pretty cheap. Uh, you could probably find other ones. That are cheap as well. If the new person isn't coached, I would like y'all to figure something out if it isn't too much to ask. Well, you'll just have to see. Um, Rogers and Adams for Jimmy Warner, D Ford. Uh yeah, I think that's pretty much Jimmy Warner and D Ford. No one wants D Ford. Um, Rogers and Adams for Jimmy Warner. I don't think that's gonna be enough, dude. I like that though. I like your thinking. I don't think it's gonna be enough. 